there, Grant McComey here. Welcome to this week's edition of Travel Oregon's Grant's Getaways. Well, this week I'm on an adventure of a different sort. You'll notice I have binoculars in hand and I've come to a place where the information is right at hand. I'm at William Finley Wildlife Refuge in the Willamette Valley. It's the backdrop for this week's Grant's Getaway because we're looking for critters in the air. We're on the Oregon Birding Trail. There's a new way to explore Oregon, and this one is for the birds. Really? They're fascinating creatures, and they're feathered. They have a little more variety than mammals. Joel Geyer says variety is the spice of birding life along the new Willamette Valley Birding Trail. Joel should know. He's a member of Oregon's field ornithologists, and his organization, along with others, including Travel Oregon, joined to identify 130 birding trails in the Willamette Valley. We've set it up as 12 different loops so that if you live in one of the communities in the valley, no matter where you are, you can go out on a weekend and visit a loop that contains about 10 or 12 of these sites. You can see how easy it is to locate a trail. A click of the mouse takes you inside one of the dozen loops where you'll find directions to the sites, plus photos of the species you'll see along the way. For example, on the Tualatin Loop, discover the waterfowl that use Fern Hill wetlands, or the bald eagles at Jackson Bottom wetlands, or climb high along the spine of the Ridgeline Trail at Ball Peak State Park for a bird's eye view to the Tualatin Valley. On each of those loops, there are going to be several sites that you've never thought of visiting before that are pretty special places. The boardwalk is a pretty level, even terrain. There's two benches along the boardwalk so they can stop and rest if they get tired. Sally Gentry and Molly Monroe agree that the new Homer Campbell Memorial Boardwalk at William Finley Wildlife Refuge near Corvallis is one of those special places to go birding. There's 1,700 feet of elevated trail that leads to an observation blind. It's all wheelchair accessible and a fine choice because there's so much wildlife here. It's a magnet for wildlife. We'll have thousands upon thousands of, of ducks and geese and swans here if within the next few months. We're kind of a little known secret right now, but I think we're gonna become a lot more well known. There is such excellent wildlife viewing opportunities here and you can get relatively close without disturbing the wildlife. Not only waterfowl, but raptors like bald eagles make Finley Refuge their winter home. It's one of the easiest for most people to identify, so it's really fun for them to just be able to look out on a tree line of snags and say, oh, there's an eagle perched right there, you know, so it's a really good one for viewers to come and pick that one out. If you're eager to learn more about birding, but not sure how to get started, Gentry says there's good news for the first time visitor this fall. A lot of people come here and don't realize the wealth of birds that they may find on the refuge. Well, now they can come into the refuge headquarters, check out a pair of binoculars, a field guide, take it with them out on a hike or along the auto route on the refuge, and then just bring them back at the end of the day. All agree, wildlife viewing along the new Willamette Valley Birding Trail is just the ticket to see Oregon from a different point of view. Oh, I think it's a huge deal. Birding is a growing pastime. It's one that brings a lot of enjoyment to a lot of different variety of people. I think what I enjoy the most about birding in the Willamette Valley is that there's so many different types of habitats to be found here, and with those different habitats come different bird species. So it always makes for an unexpected pleasure when you head out into the field. Now, Joel tells me that for now, you'll have to go to the internet and download maps. The printed versions will be available in a couple of months, and we provided a link to those maps on the Travel Oregon website. So until next week, get out here! But don't forget your binoculars on the way. For Travel Oregon, I'm Grant McComey.